Corilla. I like your outfit. Where'd you get it? Damn, Hoots. That new batch burns stronger than a pit fiend's fist. I'll take that as a compliment. I like her. Take it however you want. But I'll be having my usual from now on. Hello. Something's off about this one. And you're gone. Okay, okay. Oh. <gasps> It's Raphael's favorite misadventure. What? You've put me out of pocket, you know. Oh. Raphael bet me five soul coins you'd reach the city in one piece. He rented a room upstairs in the hope that you. Oh, no, I can't escape him. He just is just, he's like, wait, I have to talk to him about ball. Um, who are you exactly? Ah, oh, I forget we've never met. I've had my eyes and ears on you so long we feel like old friends. I could've just walked right past her. Carilla is my name. I'm Raphael's assistant, shall we say. Are you human? I didn't check. Take your er, time. you know. Have a drink. Not demon. Sample the goods. Go see him when you're feeling refreshed. Hold up. She is? Okay, so she's mortal, I guess, is the best way to put that. Is she kind of like... I'm like, she can't be a mage, she's a dwarf. That tells you what game I play so much is uh, Dragon Age. is the only game I know of that limits that factor, but there's a good reason for it. Um, so she appears to be humanoid. I guess that's the way to put it, too. So I wonder if he's, like, trapped her in a deal? Because the way she said assistant, I was like, mm. Anyway, this woman looks like she could, like, crack everybody's skull in the establishment, and that's probably why she's here. She just sniffed that mug. Ugh. Now, that there's a face I'd remember if I'd seen it. Welcome to Charesse's Caress. Her biceps. What can Hoots do for you, stranger? You got a taste for ale, I reckon. Or maybe... Even margarita? Ah, forget it. My new brew could drop you in the wink of a spectator's eye. What's the story? Charest caress. The Mamsel's brainchild. Wet your tongue, soak your skin, scratch your ears. Weird! Get the attention you want and avoid the attention you don't. That seems like a good way to run it. I bet you, you hear all sorts of stories. My business is slinging tankards, not hoarding secrets. I'd like to keep it that See, way. See, game developers lately are but not trusting us with this. You poke some folk hard enough. They're bound to squeal. And Mamzelle Amira there looks about ready to burst. Oh, see, I knew! They always know. They always know something. But it was in Dragon Age Inquisition where the barkeep is like, why are you bothering me? You know, why do people always ask these questions, you know? But he still gives you some info. She's the same way. Like, why do people always bother me? Just like, like an actual barkeep probably wouldn't be privy to as many secrets as we think they are from video games, you know? Uh, well, give me, yeah. Don't know about that, chum. Hoots Hooch packs a stronger wallop than all ten of my knuckles. I'm a big girl. Could beef you up, sharpen your tongue, or knock you out cold. No telling till the first drop hits your gullet. So it's a 50-50 shot. Um, uh, hmm. No, I'll pass. Cold feet, eh? Don't blame me. <laughs> Left my first wife at the altar. Some flavors just aren't worth tasting. Oh, oh no! She, she wasn't even your wife then. You didn't get married. Uh, what else do you have? Have a look. Maybe I'll come by and get it, but I can't really see my milk. I can't really see my paladin being like, "Ooh, yeah," you know, like, "Oh man, I meant to save that." Like, I want to get rip roaring drunk, set, especially before I do. I did want to talk to her though, because I look at her body's abs. But I do need, I can't get rip roaring drunk before I have to talk to this woman. You have the key to Another drow for my feet. Eee! Darkness bread, yet no less delicious for me. I've been objectified. Elegant, decadent, and oh so dangerous. I know you. My bliss is behind me. A sturdy dwarf, a leather whip, she gives, you receive. Or oh, have I misjudged you? Have you have definitely misjudged me. 
Way off, I'm afraid. <laughs> Am I? Your eyes tell a story, sweetie. Interesting. You crave more than pleasure. You crave penance. I feel like I think you're projecting. It's Fion you seek, our stern librarian. She isn't here today, alas. Your penance must wait. I think you tell... Well, we've other ways to fill your void. A drink for one, a pair of drow for another. Choose your sin. I feel so objectified. Usually people, when they see... It hasn't happened in a while. People are like, oh, drow, you're evil. But now she's like, ooh, and I'm like, ooh. It's like a kind of like Asterian when he, when he was like objectified by that like vampire obsessed woman. You know, and I'm like, excuse me, and really, <laughs> like, oh, was it Kalak and Halston back there would be like, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, you put your hands up to your chest, like, my, my pearls, <laughs> you know. No. Oh, the stern librarian of your, I just, I feel like, why would she be offering the services? It, it's, it seems heavy-handed if, like, the game is, like, like, hitting you over the head. Like, oh, yeah, that dead body fell. Or maybe she says it anyway. And then if you're like, well, where is she? Then you can go look for her when you find her. You can come tell her. But I just, I can't. Yeah, in the flop house lies a fresh-killed corpse, a lady dwarf. Could that be Fiona? Murdered. Ye gods, the poor thing. Oh, by the mother of cats, I pray she didn't suffer. I mean, miss that murder would suck. Else, the regulars will miss her more. They swarmed her like honeybees at the hive. Oh. Losing fields slashed a big hole in my coin purse. Yeah. I should get to replacing her. Uh, a woman is dead and you're concerned about the money? Sweeting. This is Baldur's Gate. I've seen more murders than a butcher's right eye. There'll be time for tears. Cruel as it is, I must turn my mind to business. Or, more precisely, the lack of it. That does seem excessively harsh. Um, on to, I don't need a reward on other matters. Mm -hmm. Oh, never mind. I that was it. Like I thought it should be like, oh, who killed her? Oh, are my other people in danger? You know, but apparently not. The Underduke. Nine Fingers is a name, but her title is Underduke. That makes sense if she would be like the Undercity's lord, essentially. Deal with the. I cannot. And I have Asterion on hand, who is the one who likes to chat with you him the, the most. Okay. I've heard it on a special Cabaret here featuring Roll the Despoiler. The highest kicks in Baldur's Gate guaranteed. I mean, I don't know how many people are here, but it seems like you have more customers than... Like, way more customers than you do courtesans. I'll talk to the drow later, but I'm gonna... Do I gotta beat the crap out of this? I thought she had blood on her, but I think that's actually just paint. I barely got a moment's sleep last night. And no, not in the book. Was that human boy insisting on playing his acoustic lit version of High House of Wonder? <laughs> oh, Wonder I Wall. Hate boys. Human I don't boys. understand why there's such a type for so many. <laughs> human boys playing playing Wonder Wall. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. I will have to talk to those two. Anyway, I'm gonna beat the crap out of you, guy. Nine hells! You followed me all the way here? What could you possibly want with me now? Uh, yep. Finally, supposed to toy bears you donated to the refugees. Dang it, I shouldn't have brought... Hmm... I shouldn't have brought Asterion for this. And the toy explosives. What? How? Nine wow, hells. you're bad at this. You are bad Whatever at this. Whatever you think you know, I, I, I'm sure some gold would help you to forget. I think my girlfriend here would have things to say to you. If I were after gold, I would have good as you taken it. I'm here to see that you are brought to justice. Please don't. 
what you want from me. It's no. not my no. fault. I was forced to do this. Framed even. No. Mm -mm. They would have killed me if I refused to rig the toys. I read your notes. And they're definitely going to kill me now. No, nope, I read your notes, dude. You've been having you've been having separationist, weird, fanatical thoughts for a while. I read your journal. Oh, it sounds like you're in a over here. All right, get going, you little monster. No, they. Who's this they? I can't tell you. I won't. I will tell literally you. pull your insides out. Yeah. Tell me who they are, or tell me then before they even get to you. I don't mind into. I don't usually pull the intimidation out, but this guy deserves it. Please help. Mm, you gain advantage. Will oh, so this will give me advantage. I do want the advantage on this. What? That is so weird. I've never seen the, the snake eyes. Kind of the double. <laughs> That's weird. On advantage? I don't think I've ever seen the same number on rolling advantage. That's funny. All right. All right. Just don't hurt I me. will hurt you after this. The teddy bears were an experiment. My greatest invention. Clever little device in their chest allows them to speak. I did. That was very was spooky. More. Yes. Smoke powder inside the device. I collect packages from Fenoga's fireworks in the lower city and stuff the bears with it. You're a monster. You're an actual monster. Not because I want to. Because I have to. <laughs> Otherwise they'll kill Yeah, or me. they're gonna kill a bunch of children? Yeah, you'd rather risk a kill a bunch of children than risk your own skin? It sounds terrible when you put it like that, but maybe you can put a stop to this whole operation. Maybe he's just like, I don't know, like a, like a hanger-on. I, I don't know who's in charge, but it starts at the fireworks shop. That's where the packages come from. Go there. Tell them Uncle Felogia sent you, and they'll show you the smoke powder. Lots of I it. I mean, it's a fireworks shop. It makes sense. There. I told you what you wanted to know. Uh, now, will you let me go? His plea comes with an offering. I already have a pass. A pass, granting you access to the lower city. I didn't realize I needed a pass. Um, no. Bribery, the only place you're going? Yeah, okay, I do want him to go to prison. I don't want to kill him, but I do think he needs to go to prison. He'll probably die in prison. Um, but... Yeah, I don't want to necessarily be judge, jury, executioner on this, because honestly, I think he probably was forced to do it, he, but and he's also just, like, a kind of a creep, and he got, like, sucked into, like, yeah, I think we should eject, eject the refugees, but, like, actually getting his hands dirty and being, like, a top brass, like, kind of guy, like... I don't know, he's sort of a, he's sort of a, yeah, in the mob, and then when he's by himself, he's like, oh, you know, so. Uh, the other place you're going is prison. You can't be serious. Yeah, uh-huh. They'll find me. Yeah. A cell won't keep me safe. They run this city. Oh, I don't care. I could just kill you. Yes. Yeah. I think we did it if we... Oh, whoa! I was like, if we don't get a one on the roll on the thing, it'll be fine. All right, all right, I'll go. But if I'm found hanging in my cell, it'll be on your conscience. Mm, my conscience will not be bothered that much, honestly. By an attempted child killer. Well, that resolved itself a lot better. Archducal coronation admission pass. Friggin' that one guy, friggin' Gortaz, was like, come on up, but apparently they were not gonna let me in if I didn't have a pass. Uh huh. Okay, okay, okay. So we're working our way slowly to needing go to the, to needing to go to the lower city. Um, who all here? Who all here? Citizen. Enjoy the fiddling. Throw a few coins our way and let us play on into the night. Uh, I only see one of you fiddling. I think you're not supposed to talk to the dancers. Few customers today. 
This might end up being the first day in years I end with my hand alone for company. You keep scaring your regulars off, Swan. That blacksmith was paying me to use the clamping <laughs> All right, let's let's have a chit chat with the drow. A new face. Looking for another chapter of dirty law for your biography? No. You have but to ask, and we can grant you a moment of pleasure. No. Nope. Don't be shy. No. Nope. I'm good. I have two. An intriguing. <laughs> Takes me back to my youth. I mean, Halston, if you takes me back to my youth, he says. I know he's older. Like he's technically like over a hundred, but like still. Uh, um how does a drow end up in a place like this? I guess that's a fair question. I mean we are a surface drow, but I mean if Halston is interested, like you, you know, I'm gonna quick save here because if Halston wants to go have fun, Halston can go have fun. Um I think they would have a great time with Halston. Um, how does a drow end up in a place like this? I used to work as a courtesan. That back makes home, sense for the men. And my sister as an artisanal masseuse. But men are treated like dogs by the Underdark's matriarchs, so we fled. Oh, we you're. Found surfaces oh, yeah. Crave the body of a drow like a drug. Life is easy in our line of work. As long as you're happy. Um. No wonder. Look at us. We're immaculate. We are, I think, uh. The uncouth would say exotic, you know, but um, he had the red eyes of the underground drow, but it called him a celadrin drow, so they must have run away. She had gray eyes, though. Um, I'm so tempted, but it's like, as long as you're here of your own free will. Life is prosperous. I'm much happier kissing the many lips of the surface than tending a field or... Manning a shot. Nah. I'm glad you found a place you feel safe. I'd have to restrain myself far more than any play bindings do if I worked in another field. This is a place where I can be myself boundlessly. Well, okay, there good. There are so many who come to me <laughs> speaking of a fixation that no one else has ever been able to share with them. And never will again. A once-in-a-lifetime moment of passion. Every day. What could be better? Don't you want to try it? No, but Halson does. Trust me, you don't want to miss my signature Mezzo Baranzan love trick. Menzo Bara. He did. He said Menzo it wrong. Mezzo Baranzan love magic. Yeah. Formidable practice. Usually only reserved for pleasing the most insatiable matriarchs in the city of Spiders. Wow. And is that your partner with you? What a gorgeous couple. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Perhaps we could come to an agreement. Uh, I'm... You are a celadrin drow. Okay, okay. Why are you interested in my partner? Well, which one? Because <laughs> they're both pretty good. <laughs> uh, you are selling a Why are you fooling your customers? But you're not. Because they just said they came from below. Uh, darling, yeah. we are not fooling anyone. Unless you pay me to make a fool of you. <laughs> You'll just have to see what is in store. Nope, I'm good. Oh, I'm very good, honestly. Uh, you two look uncannily alike. We are twins. Twins, I think they're pretty rare for the drow, right? Aren't they seen as unfavorable in the underground? In, uh, what do you call it? The Lilith drow? Or not Lilith, what is it? Is it no, it's not Lilith. Lilith's a Bible, right? <laughs> um, Loth. I always call her Lilith. Loth. I, there's none of my business. I am done. Nope. Are you? Mm, no, uh, no. I want to. I want to leave this conversation. Never mind. Mm, I should not have even asked. Uh, that is. Uh, it's not my business, but it's the only one that's not like totally rude. This is so. I mean, I know that's what they do for a living, but there still feels like a line, like a propriety line. Maybe this is better, honestly. 
but uh, no, I no. Okay, you know, okay. We can make up a little show of kissing each other, but when we are hired at the same time, there are often many other clients in the room to attend to. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to know. I, okay, what kind of agreement? <laughs> we want both of you, silly. At the same I know we're not all time. related, but it feels extra weird. To a brother and a sister. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. No. You do your thing, but that's not mine. It's not mine. Um, no. Um, also, I didn't, I wasn't looking at the screen. I hope she didn't, like, disapprove. Uh, sport, sport. Uh, nor mine, thanks. A shame. But either one of us will be ready for you. If you wish. I just it just feels weird as a drow to sleep with other drow, which is silly because how else would you make more drow technically? Do you think we've done something wrong? We are not in trouble, sister. Remember our vow to keep one another safe. When the music stops, you and I we will continue dancing. Yeah. Oh, I mean I get it, I get it, but I'm also like, mm, I'm a little bit of a kink shame there. I don't think you're supposed to talk to the answer, but I'm going to. You can stare as much as you like. Okay. Well, your outfit is awesome, and I would really like to know where you got it. Um, I kind of want to Hey, okay. I'm going to save, and then I'm going to see if Halson wants to hang out with them. Listen. Listen, if he wants to go off and have a good time, I don't have to be there. An intriguing pair. Takes me back to my youth. Interested, Halson? <laughs> More than interested, if you feel the same. Oh, you want me to join? No. No, no, don't, no. Um... How does, do I want to just keep doing the same conversation I did? Dang, okay. Uh, I mean, if he wants to have a good time, he can, but I'm not, I'm not about the sibling thing. Um, I mean, we're in a brothel. This is a dumb question. How's a draw? But we'll, we'll do the conversation. I used to work as a... We found surfaces crave the body of a draw. I mean, do like we actually drow. have, like, a weird skin thing? Life is easy. In our line of work. I am tempted to say no wonder look at us wear immaculate because I think that's so funny. Um, but I think I'm gonna as long as you're here of your own free will. Life is prosperous. I think I'm gonna pass over the you two look uncannily alike thing. I don't wanna hire them. No. This feels weird to just like leave. Where it was like, I was like, I was like, why are you interested in my partner? And she was like, where's two of us? And I'm like, bye. It does feel weird to just, okay, like, I don't know, I wanted to say like, bye. You know, but, alas. Also, this doesn't feel like very good, like, a, like, seductive music, maybe. Can I play the piano? I should not, I would be bad at it. I'm not a bard. I wonder if I was a bard if I could. Don't waste a step. Let's see. I'm surprised the Starian didn't say anything. But like we said, he's kind of having his uh, self uh, discovery. Hmm. Well, I th think. Was that human boy insisting on playing his acoustic? Wonder wall. Oh, we gotta go upstairs. <laughs> we don't gotta. We could leave him up there, but I hate leaving a devil hanging. You never know when he'll come back down and find you in a way time you don't want. At least he's being polite. And I gotta ask him about mole. Anyway, thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate. It. This has been interesting. <laughs> this has been an interesting. I haven't really seen many drow on the surface. Also, apparently it's supposed to be really hard to escape, like, the brainwashing, essentially, that Lolth and the Matriarchs do. So, like, their bond, I mean, their bond must be really close for one thing. I mean, it is, obviously. Like, things get a little weird. But, like, I honestly, like, a part of them, it's like, you know, when the music's done playing, we'll keep each other safe. Like, I've read a lot of stories, right, where siblings will do anything 
to keep each other safe. And I, I enjoy those stories a lot, so that resonates where it's like, you know, you'll do anything to keep your sibling safe and, and, and happy or whatever, you know. But I'm like, I can't. <laughs> That's a little bit much. You guys go a little far. <laughs> but what the heck. Um... Can't think of anything else. So yeah, we'll go ahead and call it here. Thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons. First, I want to give a shout out to my Acorn Tier patron. Thank you so much, Fame, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to my Sapling Tier patron, Riska Lido. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron, who has truly gone above and beyond and has supported me in the channel. And I truly cannot thank you all enough. Um, so thank you all again. And I will see you in the next one.